The College Pool's early childhood program is built upon giving children the tools they need to make their way in the world. The Reggio approach is such a huge inspiration for our school because it really is a way in which our children learn best. Not only is there research that backs that up, but we go on to see our students succeed not only in the TCS community at large as they go through the grades, but academically in high school, college, and beyond. I think that the Reggio approach can be difficult to do well because it is very organic, it's very spur of the moment, um, and, and when I came to the college school, I remember having that feeling of like, this is what it looks like when it's done well. Mm. Because it is organic, it follows what the children are learning, but it was, it was very soothing, it was organized, it wasn't chaotic, and I was just like, oh, that's how, that's how it works. Our faculty know how to do this important work. Many of them have advanced degrees in early childhood education. Many of them have traveled to Italy to study the approach firsthand. You don't see that in most early childhood programs. Our faculty are exceptionally committed and exceptionally prepared and skilled to help your child discover the best for them and their learning career. We're constantly listening and observing, and when we see children have a particular interest, we use that as a guide for our curriculum. A lot of the academic disciplines are all integrated within these really big projects that stem from the children's higher level thinking. The children are learning and they don't even, they don't even realize it, but it's blending social skills, reading, writing, and arithmetic. I think it's amazing that even in early childhood, you know, they're already doing drama, they're doing yeah. music, they're going to a greenhouse, they're going on field trips, they're, you know, doing all of these things that normally children wouldn't get to experience until, you know, a much later age. So it's really cool to get them, to see them be able to participate in all those things right. even at, even when they're three. This place for him and why we sought it out is it allows him to take calculated and safe risks. Um, and not only does it allow him, but it pushes him to do it, it pushes him outside of his comfort zone, which he would not naturally do. We focus on academic skills, we focus on you know merging literacy, ex exploration of math concepts, exploration of science, and, and those things, but we also focus on social emotional peace. You know, we really want our kids to be kind, we mm -hmm. want them to be good citizens, we want them to be responsible, right. to take good care of themselves and others, and I don't think that I necessarily realized how much the curriculum would be infused with that when we chose it, but I've been pleasantly surprised by that. For the last half century, we've been working, starting at age three, to prepare children to be ready for life. Not only to get into the best AP classes in high school and the best colleges, but to be ready to go beyond and be contributors to their society. You know, for this learning environment, for this social environment to be their norm, I, I can't think of a better gift or a better investment for our kids' future. If you make the investment, in early childhood and in elementary um, education, your child is going to have the skills to be successful no matter where they go to school. You know, you see in the workplace now, there's all about, you know, making collaboration spaces in the office and for our, for our kids to be able to have that, you know, in the classroom and be collaborating with their, uh, with, with other students from day one, you know, it, to me is, is a huge benefit. As educators, as parents, as people, we want our children to succeed. There's no better way to, to see how we do that than come for a visit. I think school can take the fun out of learning when, when children are naturally curious beings and all they want to do is learn, and then school can kill that. And I don't think that the school does, and that's um, a beautiful thing.